midfielder Ireland 31, has been released by Stoke City along with fellow experienced Ed Glenn Johnson and is now a free agent looking for his next club. Having signed initially for the Potters on loan from Villa back in 2013, he reunited with his former boss Mark Hughes. The pair worked together at Manchester City previously and their partnership was a fruitful one. Stoke decided to make the loan move a permanent one, but the last couple of years have been particularly frustrating for him. He's played only five matches in the last two years because of successive injuries and worked once more under Paul Lambert at the end of last season, the man who famously bombed him out of Villa in the first place. The Irishman, who also had a very short loan spell at Newcastle during his time at B6, is attracting interest from a number of championship clubs, including Reading and Bolton Wanderers, according to reports. Villa are expected to have to sell players in order to comply with financial fair play, and so potential incoming signings this summer will likely be more loan deals and viable free agents. They've also been linked with moves for Robert Huff and Moses Odebajo recently. Hands off! James Chester is the latest Villa player to be linked with a move away from Villa Park. Stoke City have been linked with a move for the 29-year-old, who is the lead candidate to be Villa's captain next term. The Wales centre-back has not missed a minute of league action since signing for Villa in 2016, but his performances have reportedly caught the attention of new Stoke boss Gary Rowett. If Chester were to move to the bet 365, it would leave Villa without a recognised centre-half in their squad, after both John Terry and Chris Samba's short-term contracts expired, and Tommy Elphickner's a permanent move to Reading. Though the club would be keen to keep such a key player, they may be forced to entertain bids for Chester to help balance the books. However, the response from Villa fans has been close to unanimous James Pigford, you've got to love silly season, who thinks Chester would leave us for Stoke. Nick Cannon, it will be a joke if we sell him to a championship club, a prem club maybe just because he deserves the chance at his age Stephen Heppard, next season captain yes. Without a doubt hope he stays with Hutton and Grealish and Koja and Adoma Craig Baker, every player has his price if they offer 15 mil don't think we could turn it down financially. Suppose we could get 2 CB and have a good 7 eighths mil left. Sign of the times unfortunately Lloyd Jeffries, just get as much pound as possible. And he won't be going to a fellow championship club, we, hopefully, aren't that desperate. At Andy Villa 80 if Chester gets a Premier League move, then good luck to him. But going to Stoke would be a kick in the plumps. At Peter Diggy, more worried about Chester leaving than anyone else, will leave us with no center halves Harry Johnson, I'll be gutted if Chester goes. I haven't rated a player or liked a player so much since Benteke. We haven't had many good players the last eight years or so but Chester is special. We can't lose him. More Villa news Aston have been drawn away to Yeovil Town in the first round of the Carabao Cup. All ties are all ties are scheduled to be staged in the week commencing August 13th, which follows the second weekend of the EFL season. This is the draw in full. Draw in full Northern Section Rotherham vs Wigan Tranmere vs Walsall Crew vs Fleetwood Scunthorpe vs Doncaster Macclesfield vs Bradford Grimsby vs Rockdale Sheffield United vs Hull Nottingham Forest vs Barry Middlesbrough vs Notts County Sunderland vs Sheffield Wednesday Leeds vs Bolton Carlisle vs Blackburn Mansfield vs Accrington Portvale vs Lincoln Preston vs Morecambe Oldham vs Derby Shrewsbury vs Burton Blackpool vs Barnsley Southern Section Millwall vs Gillingham Portsmouth vs AFC Wimbledon. Cheltenham vs Colchester Yeovil vs Aston Villa Southend vs Brentford Reading vs Birmingham Wickham vs Northampton Swindon vs Forest Green Exeter vs Hipswich MK Dons vs Charlton West Brom vs Luton Bristol Rovers vs Crawley Bristol City vs Plymouth Cambridge vs Newport QPR vs Peterborough Oxford vs Coventry Norwich vs Stevenage Sales Aston Villa need to sell players to the value of £50 million, that according a report in today's Telegraph.
Much has been made of Villa's financial plight in the weeks following the playoff defeat to Fulham and there has certainly been plenty of drama with Keith Wynas leaving his role as CEO amid talks of administration and a club sale. Speculation has been rife that Villa will need to strip their playing staff assets. Jack Grealish and James Chester top the list of expected departures. The report in The Telegraph by John Percy suggests that the full extent of the fire sale needed will see £50 million in player sales needed in the next two transfer windows. As previously reported, Birmingham Live understands they need to raise an estimated £40 million to comply with FFP regulations in the championship. This is against the backdrop of rumoured interest from potential buyers, something Tony Shaw doesn't want to happen. Shaw paid around £60 million for Villa when he bought the club from Randy Lerner in 2016. He had hoped to get them back in the Premier League when appointing Steve Bruce in October of that year but faces a third season in the second tier. Two of the Claret and Blues' biggest earners, John Terry and Gabby Agbond Lahore, have already left as the club look to cut costs and further departures are expected. The Telegraph writes that the wage bill needs to be slashed even more. Despite the exits of Robert Snodgrass, John Terry, Gabby Agbond Lahore, Sam Johnston, Louis Grabin and Josh Anoma, In a meeting last week, proposals were laid out for Steve Round and Steve Bruce both are expected to prepare for the new challenge that lies ahead, operating the club at lower level but ultimately with the same expectations of promotion. The EFL have confirmed they are in discussions with Villa regarding their current financial crisis. In a statement released to Birmingham Alive the championship's governing body said they would help embattled Villa, where appropriate. News that EFL chairman Sean Harvey had requested a meeting with the club broke on Tuesday night. It was reported that Harvey will request a business plan from the club and will seek reassurances that they can fulfill their financial obligations. But the statement struck a cooperative tone. Aston Villa confirm retained and released list, and it throws up some surprises the league told Birmingham Live the EFL is in dialogue with the club and will offer any practical assistance, where appropriate. The fallout of Villa's failure to win promotion is well documented. On the field players' sales are anticipated, there is uncertainty around Steve Bruce's position and the budget for next term. Well off it former CEO Keith Wynas has left the club and is taking them to court, while owner Tony Shaw faces a difficult summer meeting the club's financial obligations.